everybody is different, which is really, really good. I need every single person on this paper that says working together. Get there in three. Get there in two. And get there in one. Now I'm going to fix your posture. Sitting up straight, pencil in your hand. What goes on my paper goes on your paper. Sitting up straight, pencil in your hand. What goes on my paper goes on your paper. You guys have been doing awesome with this eighth grade stuff. Really, really good. So for the past two days, we have been working on finding the rate of change and writing an equation. Today, though, your exit ticket will count for a grade because it's day number three. So in my opinion, you guys are ready. You just need to show me that you're ready now today. Can I get a volunteer to read starting from Corey Vaught? Starting from Corey Vaught. Pencil in your hand, annotating on paper. Here we go. Read it for us. Keep on you. He made his purchase. He also used a five dollar coupon. The table below shows the, the cost of X amount of food with the use of, a, of the coupon. And let's pause there. We have a problem. We have to set up an equation for this problem. Read step one. Tell us what to do first, Krishan. So trying to change in the Y value. Good. Raise your hand. Do not call out. What are the changes? our y values. Raise your hand. Do not call out. How much does y change by? How much does y change by? Tell your partner. Yay. Bring it back. Now every hand should be up. How much does y change by? Shredell, I need you. Every hand should be up. Go ahead and track this person. What does y change by? Full sentence. Tania, she's in the back. Raise your hand, don't call out. How much does X change by? Raise your hand, do not call out. How much does X change by? Tell your partner. Bring it back. Raise your hand, do not call out. How much does X change by? Trudell, trying to get you involved, but you're not raising your hand fast enough to do it. And track this person. His name is Trudell. <laughs> X changes by three. Very good. Finally, read step three for us, please, Keyshawn. Write the change as a fraction. Good. Write the change as a fraction. Keyshawn, it's so important, though, that I put what number on top? The change in X or the change in Y? The change in Y. Very good. So the change in Y is 18. The change in X is 3. What's 18 divided by 3? 6. Six. right now I want to finish this sentence. When the amount of books increases by three. three. The books increase by three. Who can finish that sentence? When the amount of books increase by three, Christian. Uh, total cost increases by 18. Write it in. Total cost increases by 18. When we bought three books, how much more did we pay? 18. When we bought three books, how much more did we pay? 18. This is so important to understand for the next part. If three books cost 18, one book must cost how much, Shakira? Good. So that is called the unit rate of change. Say unit rate of change. Unit rate of change. Unit rate of change. Unit rate of change. It's six dollars per book. That's what we just found out, Trina. We just found out that when the books increase by three, the cost increased by 18. That must mean that one book would cost six. Exactly. That's what we got when we divided. So let's actually write that, that down. What is the unit rate of change? It is six dollars per what? Per book. Per book. Very good. That is so important. Whenever we write an equation, you need to know the unit rate of change. You need to know the what? Unit rate of change. You need to know the what? Unit rate of change. So, who can now write an equation for this? Oh my gosh. Write it with your partner, though. Oh, good. Uh, 6x plus y is 6x plus 18. Why is it 
many times is 6 going to 72? That's okay, that's an easy mistake. Okay, yeah. Seven and then he wants to buy one that's fourteen. So nine times seven is sixty-three plus fourteen is seven x plus seventy-two. No, seventy-seven.